be making some yummy crock pot recipes and I actually found a couple of recipes that we have made prior to this but they are different variations of it and they sound so good if not better than the regular way that I usually make these recipes and one of them our first recipe is a white chicken chili and if our uh, background looks different I'm actually in mom's kitchen not mine we are house sitting for my mom and dad this weekend but you guys know my mom makes the best white chicken chili like ever I will link her recipe down below for you guys if you want to check out hers but this is like a different variation than hers so we're gonna try it I'm gonna leave a little bit for her so when she comes home she can tell me if this one's better or if hers is better but this is gonna be so easy so let me show you how we're gonna do it okay so to our crock pot I'm using mom's and I kind of like her size crock pot better than mine I'm gonna have to get a smaller one um, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly grease this and then we'll go ahead and add our chicken in on top of our chicken I'm gonna add in a little bit of diced onion if you want to do more of course you can but y'all know I'm just putting a little bit in there next I'm gonna add in two cans of these great northern beans one can of corn and then one can of chopped green chilies and you don't have to drain any of these you just pop them right in Okay, so here is the star of the show and what makes this even more simple. You can find this packet of white chicken chili seasoning at your grocery store and instead of using all of the other ingredients, you can just use this to flavor it, season it. Total game changer, it makes it so easy. So we're gonna add this in next. And then half a block of cream cheese. If you wanna use the full block, you can, but y'all know we always half it. Now, if you don't wanna add this pepper jack cheese, you don't have to. I just want it to give it some like cheesiness, but also a little kick. So if you don't want it too spicy, just don't add in the pepper jack. And last but not least, you're gonna add in your chicken broth. Kinda of give it a little stir, we'll pop a lid on, and then you can let this cook on high for about four hours or on low for like six to eight. Okay, so it's been about three hours and I just checked in on our white chicken chili and I feel like it needs a little bit more cream cheese. Normally I only do half, but I want this to be very like velvety and creamy and just like so warm and cozy. And I feel like compared to the other liquids, it needs more cream cheese. So I'm gonna add in the rest of this, give it a good stir, and then we'll let it keep cooking for about another hour to two hours. We were so excited to see our friends while we were home and ended up taking our white chicken chili over to our friend JT and Sylvia's house. They also have a YouTube channel I will link it down below but it was fun because they all got to taste test it as well I served it with some Frito scoops and a little bit more pepper jack and it was the perfect pairing that's pretty good mom that's good yeah <laughs> better I, th I think we should have put some of JT's jalapenos in here though. I know we have some jalapenos in there is it better than my mom's absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not that's a smart son-in-law mm-hmm <laughs> But is it like a close second? It's definitely number two in my world, <laughs> yeah. It's a little cheesier than I expected, oh. to be honest with you. You know what? That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you, thank you. That is fantastic. I got to have another bite. Hang on. Does it have a good enough heat? Mm. Or you need your jalapenos? No, I'm dead serious. That's really good. Yay! Mmm, that has a nice kick to it, too. Okay, good. It's, it's a pepper it's, jack. It's, it's very subtle. subtle. It's there. It's there. Yeah. Want a bite? Mm. What do you think? Good. Good. Oh, <laughs> that's all I needed. That's a winner in my book then. Okay, so we are about to get started on this second recipe, but y'all, I have to tell you, everyone's kind of like nervous to be on camera whenever we are taste testing the white chicken chili, but friends it was the best like funky and i have both said that was probably one of the best white chicken chili recipes that we've ever tried my mom's is really really good but this one y'all it was scrumptious everyone kept raving about it so be sure you try that recipe you are going to be obsessed now for this second recipe we are making loaded baked potato soup which you guys know if you've been around here that is one of my all-time favorite soups or just recipes in general. It has like my name right all over it. Potatoes, cheese, bacon, like 
I'm your girl, okay? But this is also a different variation of the recipe that I always make, but I really think this one's gonna be even better. But also, all the things I gotta tell you guys, y'all are in for such a treat today. You're gonna have all of the crock pot recipe inspo. We did this last year and you guys loved it, so I think it's just gonna become like a little tradition. But today's video is a collab with three of my very best friends that I know you guys already know and love. We've got Mandy from Mandy in the Making, Amber from Feeding the Birds, and then Mackenzie from Rooster's Recipe. I will have all of their videos and channels linked down below for you guys. So after you watch this one, be sure you head over, get some more crock pot inspo from them. But let's go ahead and get into this loaded baked potato soup. Okay, so here is a look at most of the ingredients. We're gonna add our bacon and our cheese later. But usually for my loaded potato soup, I use a regular potato and cut it into bite-sized pieces. This time we're just gonna use a bag of hash browns. So much easier, so I'm excited for that. And then I also have never used a can of cream of chicken soup in mine. So this is gonna be different, but I think this is gonna give it so much creaminess and flavor. So I'm excited to try this out. And then we're gonna season it with garlic powder, ranch, and then you can do salt and pepper. I'm just gonna do a little bit of anti no nos Okay, so we're gonna start by lightly greasing our crock pot. Then we're gonna take one bag of frozen hash browns and just add those right in. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our chicken broth, some garlic powder, and I'm not measuring this, I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm ranch seasoning and a little anti no nos now, for Bunky's sake, I'm adding in a little bit of onion. I'm leaving them huge so that I can fish them out, but if you like onion, just go ahead and chop up however much you want and add that in as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and kind of give this a stir to get everything kind of mixed together. And then I'm adding one block of cream cheese right on top. We're gonna let this cook for like three hours and then we'll add the rest of our cheese and our bacon. Okay, it's been about three hours, an hour potato soup is looking so yummy it smells so good look at how creamy it already is so now that we've got this pretty much cooked i'm gonna go ahead and fry up some bacon and shred our cheese up and then we will pop that into the crock pot for like 30 more minutes and then this soup is gonna be done and y'all i cannot wait Bacon going in. Like I said, I'm gonna save a little bit to add to the top. Y'all, this I think is going to blow you away. I think it's gonna blow me away. I mean, it just looks so creamy and cheesy. Oh my gosh. Does that not look so good? We got some nice, uh, nice bubbling going on, boo. Let me just tell you. I feel like this is gonna be the best Ooh. potato soup ever. That's smelling really good. I didn't tell Bunky I was uh, cooking the bacon down here because I knew you'd steal all of it before we got to use it for topping. Well, apparently, oh, this is the topping over here. Yes. I was gonna say, it looks like we got some extra. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Do you see this goodness? That's a nice consistency. I mean, and the color is just so beautiful. Give it a... Wow. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait, B. Okay, now here's what you do to make it look extra special and fancy. Get you a big dollop of sour cream, and then we're gonna add the tiniest little splash of water to kind of thin this out. You want it to be like a drizzly consistency. Okay, then you take your sour cream, and you just make it look extra pretty. Wow. Right? Now that's a presentation. I feel like you're a barista in a coffee shop that right now. That is a presentation. Now we need some pepper. Okay, and one big crack of black pepper. Y'all, is that not the prettiest bowl of potato soup you've ever seen? Was it hot? <laughs> no. This is good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love the addition of the can of cream chicken soup. I feel like that's what really like kind of elevates that flavor. It makes it like so rich. Mm-hmm. Wow. Really brings a little more mm. depth. Yeah. Depth of flavor. Yeah. Do you know what would be good on here? What? Oh, green scallions. 
Yes. I forgot those. But if you have that, <laughs> add it in. <laughs> oh, and I do want to say, um, use the hash browns because that is like such a time saver. And it's just like so much easier. And they held their consistency. They're still just like a little fluffy, pillowy potato bite. <laughs> I will never cut up potatoes again. That's hash browns. I, I didn't realize that's where the potatoes came from. Yeah, it's out of the back. Hash browns like oh frozen potatoes. Oh my gosh. These are just mm. on point. Y'all are so good. Okay, y'all. I don't know how anything can top the first two recipes because they were so good. But this third one might take the cake because it is going to be wild, crazy, delicious. You could have this for a dinner. You could serve this at a party whenever however you want to do it but we're making a cheesy pizza dip in the crock pot with italian sausage and pepperonis mr b this is like his dream come true okay this is right up my alley he's he is going to love this so much i must say i think that this one might top the other two in your opinion yes it in, will in my opinion <laughs> it's going to be a close uh running close with the white chicken chili but that i have a, so good y'all i have a feeling this one, it's gonna take take the cake, as you said. Okay, but let me ask you a question. We either can get our handheld mixer out, or you can use your manpower. Which one do you wanna do? Uh, we're going manpower. I knew that's what he was gonna say. I, I need to burn a couple <laughs> extra calories yes. before I eat this. Exactly. Okay, so to a bowl, you're gonna take some softened cream cheese. So go ahead and let this sit out. This is probably the only way Bunky can do this, using his manpower instead of a handheld mixer. And then you're gonna add a packet of the zesty Italian salad dressing mix. You're also going to add one cup of shredded mozzarella and then some Parmesan cheese as well. We're going to get this combined and that's going to be our bottom layer. I'm thinking just one cup of mozzarella cheese like... Oh no 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 honey there's a whole other cup <laughs> one on top. Okay got it. <laughs> Okay, so while Bunky's getting that all nice and combined, I'm gonna go ahead with our next step. You're gonna need some mini pepperonis. I'm gonna add these to our pan and just cook them on each side until they're like nice and crispy. Okay, these are looking perfect, so we're gonna get those out and put them on a little paper towel to get up like any grease, wipe our pan out, and then we're gonna add in our hot Italian sausage cook this and then we're gonna add some pizza sauce to this. Y'all, Bunky is obsessed with these little mini pepperonis after they've been cooked. He said they are better than bacon and better than a pork rind. <laughs> I would take that. I'll take those any day over either one. I should just start keeping those on hand and like make them as a little snack for you during the day. Well, you wanna know something funny? What? When I was a little kid, when I would get home from school, I used to take the regular size pepperonis and I would get the toaster oven out, put some aluminum foil down, and I would put arranged pepperonis. Uh huh. And then I would individually place mozzarella cheese onto the pepperoni. That's a great idea. And then I would put, uh, like, you know, a little Italian herb sprinkle. Uh-huh. Then you just put them in the toaster oven and you just bake them until that cheese melts. And then, like, the edges of the pepperoni would get a little crispy. Yeah. You know, that melty cheese. That's a great snack little, idea. You have little pepperoni bites. <laughs> sausage is almost cooked. Bunky is so excited for this, too, because we never eat Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you smell, you smell it. It smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, so now that that's like almost cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add in. Have another one? Just yeah. an entire jar of pizza sauce. You can just do your favorite, whichever you want. Actually, we're gonna remove some of the grease, then we'll add in our pizza sauce. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grease the bottom of our crock pot. And then the first layer is our cheese mixture. And you just wanna kind of smooth that out and spread it all over the bottom. Okay, now we've got our cheese down, we're gonna add in our meat mixture, just right on top. That was impressive. Yeah, and y'all know I have like the biggest crock pot on demand. <laughs> That's why everything always looks like so little in here. But if you have a normal size crock pot, it's probably gonna fill it up a little more. Okay, now you're just gonna to top it with the rest of your mozzarella, so it should be about one more cup. 
Okay, and last but not least, you're going to take your little pepperonis and you're just going to sprinkle them all over the top. Okay, so you're just going to pop a lid on and cook this on high for about an hour. That's it. Then it will be ready to eat. I know my bunky cannot wait. This is going to be scrumptious. Okay, are y'all ready to see this goodness? Because let me just tell you, it looks so yummy. Oh my word. So, since it only has a few more minutes left, we're going to get our little non breads. Now, they have these like in the little bite size. My grocery store was out of them, so I only had this size. We're going to actually pop them in the toaster, part for the toaster, <laughs> to kind of give them um, just a little what? A little more texture, a little more substantiality to hold up into that scoop. <laughs> That was a good word because I, I could not think of the word. Anyway, we're going to pop them in there for just a second and then we'll plate this up. Oh, 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 oh Bunky. I just want to put that right there in the middle and make a taco. You could. Wow. Oh, man. Like, do y'all see? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna just tear off a little. That's how you should do little it. Little section here. Yeah. Since we got the larger, larger pieces. I feel like a baby having first ice cream. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you know what I, I would actually suggest? What? Maybe put in. A little bit of sauce down in the bottom with the cheese before this before the first layer of cheese hmm I can see myself watching a football game with this that's a good idea this will be great for like game day mm-hmm the little pepperonis Italian sausage uh-huh and that seasoning the Italian seasoning mm-hmm I know that's what gives it all that good flavor okay I just tried this and it is so cheesy full of flavor scrumptious easiest recipe to make like i feel like we've had three absolutely wonderful crock pot recipes this week you guys are gonna have to try them be sure you head over and check out all the other girls videos y'all are gonna have all of the crock pot inspo you could ever dream of we love you